This Saturday, Iranian Calgarians will gather for the first Tabastun Festival. It's a celebration of Iranian culture and the rich heritage, and everyone is invited. There'll be music, there'll be dancing, and of course, food. Here to give us a taste of the festival and to tell us more about it, one of the executive volunteers, Nika Rezaian. I think I sort of kind of said Thank it you right. Got it. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. So tell us, what is Tabastun? What does that mean? Tabastun means summer, so this festival is happening during summer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's the first uh, Iranian uh, contemporary art and music festival that's happening in Western Canada, and we are very happy. It's happening uh, this Saturday, July 26, at the Olympic Plaza. Okay, and so there's going to be all kinds of cultural offerings. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we're going to have uh, music, traditional, modern music. There's going to be dancing, we have art exhibition, photo exhibition, and of course we're going to have food there as well. The food, and we're going to get to the food in a second. Sure. Is, is there a sizable Iranian uh, community here in Calgary? Yes, I think uh, Iranians are about like 8,000, 9,000 people in Calgary. I'm okay. not so sure, but yeah, that's about right. So a reason to gather and a reason to celebrate, Sorry. but of course open to everybody. Um, we'll get to, uh, we'll kind of take a tour around this food in a little bit, but first you're going to show us something. You're going to make a yes. marinade. Yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna show is like how to make uh, chicken kebab or juja kebab as we call it with uh, yogurt and saffron marinade. So it's, it's a great dish for summer. It's barbecue season. I mm -hmm. think this is great for barbecuing. So I'm just gonna add, uh, have some onions, okay. um, add some yogurt to it. Is that Greek yogurt or regular? Um, you know, this is does Greek yogurt, but it really doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so uh, some, some lemon juice. And of course, uh, and last but not least, I'm going to add some saffron. So saffron is a very traditional, it's an Iranian spice. Mm -hmm. It has a great aroma, and that's what you can smell here oh, in the yeah. color. So we, you can grind it, and uh, you can get more color out of it. So I dissolve it in hot water. Aha, uh -huh, look what happens. What a beautiful yes. color. Yes, it is. And then I'll just add it to the marinade, and then it turns to this gorgeous mm. yellow color. Okay, I'm going to tilt oh, it okay. this way so our camera can kind of catch. What's happening? It's beautiful. Yes. It smells great too. Yes. Okay, so you're going to mush that all together and then. Yes. So then I'm just going to pour it over chicken. And how long does it stay on there? Two or three hours, ideally overnight, yeah. but it will be ready after two or three hours. And then this will be like a more traditional chicken kebab that you can make and with a ring and twist with saffron and yogurt and everything. So. And then you can throw it on the barbecue. It's yes, good to that's go. It. It's good to go. Okay, in the magic of TV, this is what happens. This is, we're going to show you this is the finished product. So yes. it looks absolutely delicious. And you've brought in some other dishes. So let's t take us through. What, what is this? So that is a stew called daime. And it's, uh, it's lamb or beef, if you want, uh, tomato paste. And also um, these are sweet peas. And it's served over rice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is this? This, looks this is an, uh, this is cuckoo sabzi, or I want to call it like it would be an herb frittata. Mm -hmm. So it's some herbs and, and, and eggs. You can add a little bit of walnut for crunch. Okay, and then and, uh, we've seen that, and now I think we're moving on to dessert, dessert here. Yes, so this is uh, saffron against saffron ice cream. Oh, wow. And yeah, the color comes from saffron in it, and this is an Iranian take on bok lava. Okay, so if you yeah. want to sample uh, food like this and learn mm -hmm. lots more about Iranian culture and heritage, also some yes. dancing. Yes, traditional dancing, traditional music, modern music. Yeah, we'll have all sorts of things happening at the festival. Okay, Olympic Plaza, this Saturday event starts at noon and uh, runs all day. For more information, head to breakfasttelevision.ca. Nico, nice to meet you. Nice Thanks to meet for you. coming Thanks in. Thanks for having us. It smells unbelievable. I wish I could share that with you.